Here we go. Semifinal number two, game one of the best of three. And the Celtics will win the tip. Remember, they missed the playoffs last year. One of the only teams that has no playoff experience on their roster. Fab gets it over to Bully for some space. Shot clock run it down, and they throw it away. Perfusion on the break. He'll pull the three, and it's green. It's good. Mel East, you missed the playoffs last year. This year, you guys are close to getting this thing, the trophy right here. What would it mean? This depends on if the team they're playing likes to take it away as Radiant. Game one of the semifinal matchup, best of three. And CDS gets it to go. Points at the end. Yeah, one of those words is what LD2K meant to put in this <laughs> sentence. So if you can put two and two together, thumbs up. This is a go in the half. Pick and roll time. Fab. He'll lob it up. He had the mid range, but he'll. People in chat are saying they charge that to perfusion, but there's only one foul on the Celtics, and it's Mel East. It has been an instant classic so far. Fab lobs it up to the big fella. So the fans having an impact. Radiant. Perfusion will step in. They got numbers, and here's a three. Yes, sir. Wiggle a little bit, utilize those dribble moves. But Fab plays just a little bit more passive, not always just going for the dribble spans and all these crazy things, not as explosive. We've had a ton of ties, a ton of lead changes. And Radiant! That's why he's one of the best in the world. Nice long rebound. Up ahead of Perfusion, has Mel on his right, but instead he'll slam it down with the right hand. 42-41. Breadwinner takes it away. They got numbers up to Bread, and he'll finish it off with a jam. They had their first seven points of the ball game when they were struggling to score. He was there. Perfusion had no autographs in the paint. Gets over to Fab, though, and they got the lead. He had just mad at that. Radiant. Guarded by Mel. Bullies in there, too, and Steves slips to the hoop and get it. Steeds came down for the board, and now ZDS all the way to the rack. Technical. That was called on Amel East. Radiant over to ZDS. That could be the dagger. They got two timeouts. Fab for three. Off the mark, and the clock will expire. That basket is no good. 55-51. Sixers take game one. Celtics now. Their chance to have their backs against the wall and try to fight for a game three. And the Sixers will win the tip. Those rebounds, you're feeling good, right? You just continuously get it. You're kicking out to a wide open man, and they miss. It is very, very frustrating. You even see Steezy he stood up there for a second. I think it was his say, hit your shots. Everything Minnesota has done is paid off. They are in the final. Will it be the Sixers or, or Celtics? Breadwinner! Through this first almost four minutes of the ball game. Radiant, that's all kind of space. And he hits the three. It's the pass at the perfect time to be able to get Profusion in front, to be able to make plays like that happen. Oh my goodness. Radiant gets it to New Dini. Oh my. He was your player to watch. Hey, he's been doing it all playoffs long. I mean. Let it alone get some points out of your pure lockdown defender. They go to no autographs, and he says, get that shot out of here. Two on one break. New TV! And that's good enough to punch it in for two. Oh, he's confident. Oh, take it over badge. They clear Ooh. it out for Radiant. He breaks his ankles and hits the three. He only averaged four points in last year's playoffs. Gets it off to Radiant. Mel can't get there. He's on a cold ring. Over to Steve. Shot clock running down. ZDS at the end of the half. He picks up that fifth foul. That could be a problem. Yeah, they'll turn it over. Up ahead to Nudini. He's got 15 points now.
off, nothing that really even went into it. It's almost like it was just second nature for him. They got the switch straight away to where Nudini went to the corner, and that put Steez on the big man to take away the mismatch. To run those guys out of it. Fab for three. That's been credit to Steez and how he's been playing over there towards the corner. It's the first time there has been an opening for Bully to get off a look. And that was one of the adjustments they made from game one to game two. Line that we got when these teams faced off in the tip-off final, that was 70 to 52. 76ers doing so much more damage here in this game than they did the last time they met. To the T-Wolves, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say who, but somebody on the Sixers said, guys, it was going to be a 3-0 for them. Your thoughts? And they're fine with it. Oh. Oh. And one. Oh my goodness. Turn out the lights. They win two, they lose two. They win, they lose, they win, they lose. And they kind of went quiet. They went off the radar for a little bit and people start to wonder, what are we gonna see from this team?